I'm a former musician. I played drums in a marching band in high school and uh, played in a concert band. In fact, played uh, a set of drums with a group called the Stardells uh, from sophomore year through my freshman year at Jackson State University. Loved jazz and came to Detroit in 1967. Motown was at its uh, pinnacle, uh, the great groups, uh, the great jazz musicians and artists alike, and I mean, it was just phenomenal. And uh, here it is uh, 41 years later, and I'm still here, and jazz is still the mecca here in Detroit. Getting to Detroit 1967, uh, reporting to the Lions training camp in 68, I met the great Marvin Gaye. I uh, had a profound love for him, for his music, hitchhike, and uh, stubborn kind of fellow was his uh, kicks before I got here to Detroit. And after meeting Marvin Gaye, it was just a joy to see a warm brother who had an affinity for the game of football. And it all reverts back to athletes are frustrated entertainers, and entertainers are frustrated athletes. So got a chance to meet Marvin. Marvin started working out with both Mel Farr and I, another teammate of mine with the Lions. And uh, tragedy struck uh, when Tammy Terrell died in his arms on stage, and Marvin went into a deep stupor, and Mel and I continued to foster him, encourage him, and he started working out with us. And we heard everything that he had mixed up on uh, his music chart, and Barry Gardy went out of town for a couple of weeks, and he asked Mel and I to go to the studio with him and say, Mel, you take this part, Lim, you take this part, and as a result, we background Marvin Gaye on the What's Going On album. It became gold, and we both received a gold record for it. It's wonderful for what uh, Jazz Planet is doing uh, here in Detroit. Detroit needs a big boost now. Our mayor needs all the assistance that he can get. And bringing a Jazz Planet to Detroit is going to draw a lot of people who really appreciate and love jazz.